Ooh, look, a bear. There's a bloke stood there. What's he looking at? Winston Churchill lived on a house oh. in this square. I want to see the weather in this country. I'm absolutely freezing. Well, winter's back, but that's okay, because today we're in Paddington. Every year in July, they have a, a thing called the Dragon Boat Race. It's completely packed out with people, all full of teams from the local workplaces. It's a really, uh, really fun thing. So now we're getting down to the new part, all the new bills and the posh stuff. Really quite nice down here. Floating pocket park, they call it. All right. Isn't this nice? How lovely. Let's have a proper look at this. So this is part of a major redevelopment that went on over the last 10, 15, 20 years. I don't know, a long time. When I first started coming to London, you'd go over the A40 over that way, or that way, and you didn't see any of this. Did see a lot of buildings going up. And this is what the result. I like living on the edge. When I first used to come here, none of this existed. And it was quite a scuzzy sort of rough place, the back of Paddington. But now, as you can see, it's really pleasant for people getting to and from work, not looking where they're going. Trendy food trucks, ready for the lunch breaks. Well, let's have to borrow the pavement for a bit. So for our bearings, as I mentioned earlier, there's the A40. There's the big road that goes in and out of London, going out west. And here we've got sort of a back way into Paddington Basin area. And I'm told that this, this big block here, this residential block, right in the middle of Paddington, it's really quite nice. Right. We need to get over to Paddington itself. What's up here? Let's have a look at this first. All right, so here we have it. The station itself. There's Paddington. All these different lines heading out in all different directions. Some going west out to West Wales, uh, South Wales, Bristol, that sort of thing. And some going to Heathrow. This is another part of the the new build in the basin. Still building some of this, just now. Those red ones we can see there. They only just finished putting those up. All these nice new builds all around, nice big blocks. And down here, a little artificial grass seating area. There you go, there's your Blade Runner scene. <laughs> with the big screens. When they hit you with all that propaganda. And the bloke stood there, what's he looking at? Okay. This bloke and that bloke. <laughs> All right. A couple of weeks ago, we were up in Maida Vale, which is just up there. And we explored from that blue bridge. We saw Jason's Canal Boat Tours, which is right there. But we're not here for this. We are here for the real Paddington. The A40 flying over that we've ridden underneath, along, past, beside. Pass these two blokes again. Ooh, look, a bear. Well, that's different. Right, well, now we've done all the smart bits of Paddington. Let's go in and have a look at the rest of Paddington. The old style, like it used to be. Could be worse. Got our little wheels like that. But this is the hospital. All of this. St. Mary's Hospital. So, let's see if we can get around the front. Check out Paddington from the front view. I feel like I'm following this guy. Yeah, that's not too bad. Let's see if I can get across. Just go a little further down before we come back up. Bit of an estate. Not very exciting. Already I'm getting myself lost doing a bit of exploring. Let's turn up this one. Hang on a minute. Cornwall Village. Wow. Alright. 
So, I think right beside Paddington, which is ever so slightly scuzzy in its own way, right next door to it, you've got this really expensive area. And this is quite fancy. Let's have a look around here. Very impressive houses, look at that. This will be one of those places that has their own private park opposite, where some sort of gated entry. There it is. The maintenance guys are in, cleaning the leaves. Easy Porsche. Right, as I was. It's really amazing, you know, I've been in London for so long. I've been to Paddington so many times. And I'm still amazed when I find places like this. Who's the blue plaque to this? Lady Violet Bonham Carter, Baroness Asquith of Yarnbury, 1887-1969. I mean, it's all very nice all, but would you want to live here right bang in the middle of the city with hardly any greenery? I think if I had a second home, yeah, maybe, this would be a nice one to have. For all those of you curious about Mews houses and Mews streets, you can have a little nose down this one. This is a classic example. Look at these streets. I presume you all know that news houses were basically the servants' quarters for all the big houses nearby. But now they are multi million pound houses themselves. As I pop out of this news, you've got all these hotels everywhere. Look, there's the people leaving their hotel in the morning, heading off to the station probably. Linden House. Barry Hotel, Pickle Lino, is it? Even here, Hyde Park, Radnor. If you've got to get an early train or a late train from Paddington, you might find yourself staying here somewhere. What's down here? Big old blocks. See, even amongst all this, you've got big blocks. There's my car. <laughs> it's not, but it's a dead ringer for it. Right, this is a one way, so I'll follow it because we can have a nose as we go around. Right, got another blue blue plaque, who's that? Oh my god. No way. You're kidding me, what's this? So Winston Churchill probably says lived on a house in this square. I can't see it. Can I see it from this side? They've grown a bloody big bush right in front of it. They need to trim that surely. Oh well, Winston Churchill. Well, I really have learned something today. There's another muse. I've got to have a look. This looks good. Very nice bit of wisteria. <laughs> nice to cruise through. Feel about the cobbles again. This is proper old London, isn't it? I like how they've got all their pot plants out front. <laughs> their attempt at a garden carries on. Use, but that one's a dead end by the looks of it, so I won't go down that one. Right, I think we're back at this square again. Oops, yeah, I think I'm going to go around this block and then come back. So today is just a quick look around Paddington. Nothing too serious, nothing too detailed. Just a quick scout around the area just to show you what it looks like and I haven't done any research so I don't really know what, it's, what else I can tell you. But we'll have a look around just to give you a flavour of what Paddington's all about. Honestly, the weather in this country. A couple of weeks ago, I was stripped off to a short sleeve shirt and shorts. This morning, I'm absolutely freezing. It is so cold here. You just can't tell in this country, honestly. It's a nightmare. I don't know much about this, but apparently this is one of the new entrances to the new station. Lots of police keeping an eye on things. The Elizabeth Line, that's it. A bit like Ealing Broadway, isn't it? They spent a lot of time and money in Paddington reviving it because it was a real sort of bit of a dump. I'm hard to talk because I'm so cold, my mouth is frozen. Got some fun characters here. Have a nice breakfast. I think it's time to have a look inside the station itself. It's heading to Paddington. All right, let's get inside Paddington and have a quick look around and see what we can see. These incredible roofs and ceilings. Will the passengers intended to travel on this service please join the train now? 
So here's all the trains, obviously, some of them. This one, in particular, when she's quiet, I'll tell you. So this one here, this is the Heathrow Express. All right. She's never going to shut up, so I'll have to tell you anyway. So, this Heathrow Express, if you fly into London, and you arrive in Heathrow, and you do get the expensive journey into London, the Heathrow Express, this is what it'll bring you. This is impossible. So that area we just looked all around of Paddington is where you will land and where you will end up if you take the Heathrow Express, right there. It's to and from Heathrow in about 15, 20 minutes or something. It's ridiculously quick. You pay for it, but it's a lot quicker and faster than taking the Piccadilly line or a few other services. If you've got the money, it's well worth it. I've done it on a few occasions. And look at all this bike parking. Lots of people obviously commute in and out of London and they'll park all their bikes up in this rack. It's like a little Holland. Right, we've mentioned this guy before. I feel like she's looking at me. We've mentioned this guy before, but look. When we were in Warn Cliff in Hanwell, this guy. Isambard Kingdom Brunel. The man himself of that big viaduct. Well, there's obviously something going on here today. Some sort of unveiling or something. Something special happening, look. Railings, banisters, everything's going on. Overseen by Mr. Brunel. Keeping an eye on proceedings. What do you think? Are they doing a good job? Nothing to say? Right, let's just take a little wander through the station itself. It doesn't seem that busy today. I think the last time I was here, there was chaos because there was problems. And this platform area where I'm at now is absolutely rammed. You couldn't move for bodies. But it's a bit different today. We have a little shopping area there. Way through to the trains and the platforms up there. I'm struggling through with my bike. Looking like a right tourist, I have to say. <laughs> I don't care. Maybe I am for all they know. And then up here, I'm not a train buff, by the way. But you might be, if you are. That's great, but I'm not. I'm just here because it's Paddington. As you might know, I come from South Wales, Swansea, and all the trains I ever got to and from London start here and end there. I can get on at one end and get off the other end. And I've done it, I don't know how many times. I've been doing it more recently with my bike. So I'd ride down to, down to here, uh, stick the bike on the train, ride down and obviously get off the other end and ride to where I'm going there. I just found another Paddington. This is more like the real thing. Was that, was that the actual Paddington? <laughs> it looked a bit like it. Okay. I didn't know about this. Of course I didn't know. Why would I know? This is a first class lounge. Yeah, I wouldn't know about that. It's not for the likes of me, but you know, very nice if you can... If you want somewhere to sit in peace and quiet. I think we'll just have another walk through the station on the way back out. It's more interesting this way. People enjoying Paddington. Oh, we can get the Elizabeth line and go straight out to Ealing Broadway, Acton, many places. And that's it, you're out of the station. Easy, huh? Well, as I said, that was just a pretty much a quick look around Paddington today, just to get an idea of what it's like. This is uh, the Main Street, Parade Street. I might just pop down the end there and show you what it meets up with, give you an idea of what else is around the area. Yeah, it's just like a little strange sort of shopping street. It's almost like this street itself could do with a bit of reviving and modernising. So as we get down to the end here, we hit Edgware Road, which is what this is. We'll all have heard of Edgware Road. It's a major road going in and out of London. I think it's on the Monopoly board. One of these days, I'm going to follow Edgware Road and we'll have another look at it, because it's worth a look in itself. So we're underneath the A40 now, right, right above me, that major road we keep coming across. And opposite, that, that used to be Paddington Green Police Station. 
which was a major police station that they used to um, take some of the worst criminals, you know, the hardened criminals, some of the terrorists they must have had a lot of cells in there. But yet yeah, there's another police station closed, I should say. Another one down, bites the dust. I feel like I'm repeating myself a lot, but this is the A40. It's that major thoroughfare going out of London towards West London. We've been by it in the Acton episode where we came across it. Here it is again. There's the queues going into London. Big queues. No queues going out. <laughs> Everybody's gone. Another road I've taken many a time, especially when I was living out west in Acton and Ealing and Halton. In fact, <laughs> I used to have fun taking it a lot on the motorbike. And there's a section further on by Notting Hill. Goes around a bit of a bend. Yeah, I've been known to go a little bit quicker on there. Quite good fun, actually. So we were here at the very beginning. And this here building houses the Premier League on one of these floors. Just one of the floors, not the whole thing. Well, like I said, that was just a quick visit around Paddington today. Just to give you a flavor of what it looks like, what it's all about. Yeah, so when you arrive in London from Heathrow and you take the Paddington Express or the Heathrow Express takes you straight into Paddington, that's what you can expect to see. You can take the underground, go wherever you want to go from there. It's Paddington. It's a transport hub. It's... It's trains, planes, <laughs> and undergrounds. There you go. And it's real close by to Little Venice and the lovely area of Maida Vale that we've already visited. So come have a look. Get yourself down to Paddington and go for a wander around. It's not all bad. And with that, we're all done with Paddington. And I will see you next time, somewhere on Scotty London. <laughs>